Uh, Rasmus Anderson, Calgary Flames. Malmo. Uh, Rasmus, first of all, thanks so much for joining us. Yep. Um, nice to be in Sweden. What's the best part of it? Malmo, southern part. Uh, uh, close to Copenhagen. <laughs> That's the best part about it. <laughs> the best part about Malmo is uh, you're close to Copenhagen. <laughs> Quick ferry? <laughs> yeah. No, you just take the bridge. 20 minutes, you're right. downtown. Uh, no, that's but, fantastic. Um, Stockholm is a beautiful city. Yeah. Uh, especially, you know, I never really liked Stockholm before, but uh, last two, three years, my wife has always loved it. And uh, so mm -hmm. we come up here and, you know, spend spend at least two weekends a summer here. And, yeah. uh, you know, a lot of people move up here to study. And so we got a few friends here and that uh, we hang out with when we're here. Nice. Uh, and that's going to be the headline, Rasmus Anderson, colon, Stockholm sucks. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Clickbait. <laughs> Clickbait. Here we go. Yeah. Thanks, Another for the, one. thanks for the easy headline, Raz. Thanks for the easy headline. Yeah, um, yeah I, I think a lot of people, and I would imagine, you know, uh, someone on the team as well, are looking at the Calgary Flames and, and wondering what's going to happen and what the team is going to look like and who's staying and who's going, et cetera. Um, new GM, new coach, um, Toffoli is now with the New Jersey Devils. What questions, as a member of the Flames, do you have about your team? Um, honestly, not too much. Uh, you know, I trust, uh, I trust the direction we're heading in, and I trust, uh, you know, I've known Conroy since, um, since 2015 when I got drafted, and uh, I know Connie, how much he loves the Flames, and uh, he wants what's best for the team, and... Um, so it's not something I question. I trust Connie and I, you know, I worked with Ryan Huska for since my first year in Stockton. I've had him. Yeah. He was my head coach for two years. Now my assistant coach for five years. So um, I know how good of a coach Ryan is. And um, I'm excited to, you know, get to work with Huska as the head coach because uh, I know how much he has developed me personally uh, over the last seven, eight years. And um, so I got full confidence in both of them. And uh but you know, it's um, you guys know it's a business with uh, all the contracts, and uh, you know when people have one year left in the deal. You know, I think it's, I think it's so it's so different, right? With uh, if you compare Lindholm to Backlund, yeah. for example, you know Bax has been in Calgary for what 15 years, yeah. and uh, and you know if you're Michael, you're what 34, 35 years old, you haven't won. And he said it himself. He said it in the media. It's like you know what? As of right now, I'm not going to resign, but. You know, if the team is doing well and we got a chance to win, I'm going to resign. But I'm going to wait and see how this year plays out. I want to win. Every player wants to win the Stanley Cup, and he hasn't done it. So, and with Lindy, it's you know, it's it's business. It's got to work for both sides of uh, both mm -hmm. sides of it. And uh, and with that, you know, you don't pay too much attention to it because you hear from everyone else. Uh, yeah. You know, I, I personally haven't been in this situation, but you hear from everyone that. You know, when it's business, it's business. You know, it's got to work for both sides of it. And um, so with Lindy, that part, you know, you're staying out of it. With Bax, you understand. And, you know, I think Tanny is in a similar situation. You know, if, if we're good, they they love the city. They, you know, Bax has lived there for 15 years. And, you know, I know Chris loves the city too. And uh, so, you know, it's it's two different worlds and uh, it's hard to compare. And, uh, but, you know... Uh, you know, I think the guys are just excited to head back because I, they know what happened last year and we, we mm -hmm. want to prove everyone wrong that we are a good team. We, you know, we, we lost 17 games in overtime. It's like that hasn't happened before. And it's if we win five of those, we're in a playoff by three, four points. So it's, uh, you know, I think I think we all got that chip on our shoulder this year and um, we... Uh, we want to prove uh, the doubt that was wrong. See, that, that's why I think the Calgary Flames are the ultimate wild card yeah. the, the, this year in, in the NHL. Um, does it feel that way? Because, listen, we all know how good this team can be, and we all know what we saw last season, where it was false start after false start yeah. after false start. Do you have a sense of how good this team can be? Well, it's funny about last season, too. The one game that really sticks out for me is we, we play Boston at home, the best team in the season, right? And, you know, win the shots like 50 to 15. We outplay them by a margin yeah. and we lose in overtime. Like, that's how our year felt like, you know, we we had, what, 50 games, one goal games. And it's like we didn't win those games. Like, so how do we, you know 
get that extra point and win the game maybe in regulation instead of overtime. You know, we we can't be scared of losing a game. We got to, you know, go out and win it in the third and not just, oh, you know, we take one point yeah. here. You know, we go out and win it in the third and, you know, not be scared of losing, go out and win the game instead. And I think that that was the one year, that was a different between two years ago and last year where, you know, we had Johnny and Matthew and Lindy, you know, when they were really connecting, mm -hmm. you know, we didn't lose a game. They, you know, they have four, three, four points each a night. And, you know, when you don't have those players, you got to win as a collective, you got to win as a team. And it felt like we were just, we were scared of taking the chance towards the end of the games to go out and really win the game mm. instead of, instead of, you know what, let's go out and win it. Let's not play for the tie. Let's not, you know, and in overtime, let's, you know, let's keep the puck. Let's make plays. Let's, you know, score when we got to score. And it was like, it just felt like, you know, at times we were scared of winning the games. You know, uh, one, one of your teammates, I talked after the season, you know, he said to me, you know, last year, it just, from the moment the Kachuk trade happened, it just like everything that could have gone wrong went wrong. Yeah. Like it was shock for everybody involved. Like the Goodrow thing was a shock in one way. The Kachuk trade was a shock for another way, including the players we traded at Calgary. And then he said there was just so much noise. Yeah. He, he said to me, you know what we need? We need boredom. Yeah. And it just quiet and play. Yeah. And he said that if, he said it's hard because of you mentioned the business side of the contracts that have to get done. But he said, if we can just have a quiet year, everything here is going to be fine. Yeah. It feels like it's never a quiet year though with the Canadian market, right? <laughs> it's a Canadian market. Yeah. Uh. And you know, I, I yeah, we kind of <laughs> laughed about that, but he, he just said like, we just don't need drama. Like that's, that's what he said last year. There was too much drama. Yeah. No, I agree with you. And it's, it's it's so hard too, right? Because the the fans are so passionate. You know, they they make, you know, they talk about every player. They evaluate every player. You know, it's so it's like it's so hard to have a quiet year. But it's like if you play in a Canadian market, you got to embrace the chaos. I feel like that's the one thing about it. you got to embrace the chaos. And I felt like we were, you know with a shock you said about the Chucky trade you were like I, I woke up I was in Sweden and obviously with the time difference yes, and, late night. and I, I woke up I had like 80 texts on my phone you know I and I wake up with my son at like 6 30 a.m and I had like 80 texts and I was like what the hell is going on and I you know you open Twitter you're like Jesus and then you're like Jesus we got Weeksy and Hubie and the first round and the prospect you were like you're, you know, your head was going and going and going. And then, you know, you want to make everyone feel welcome into the team. And, you know, for them, it was probably a shock too, because, you know, they've all, they've all only played in Florida. Right. And, mm -hmm. you know, going from a small market to a, to a, a big market, it's probably a shock for everyone. And, and, you know, that's why I'm excited for this year. It's like, you know, Johnny's got to get his feet under him. He's going to, he has something to prove this year, you know, Everyone talked about, you know, the biggest downfall from a year from another with him, you know, point wise. And it's like, well, you know how good of a player he is. He's a really good player and he's he's he has everything you need to succeed. And I feel like he, he's going to come in with a chip on his shoulder this year and and be one of the best players again. I have no doubt about that. And, you know, with Weeksy, everyone was like, well, he didn't have the same points, but he was like one of the best defensive defensemen in the whole league. In like every statistic category, he was one of the best. But he, the points came after the All-Star break. That's when the points came for him. So like after the All-Star break, he was arguably one of the best defensemen in the league. So it's like, if we just come together and as you say, maybe quiet, but you can't have quiet in the Canadian market because everyone always writes something about the team. So it's like embrace the chaos and let's just play. Let's have the swagger. Let's have the chip on our shoulders. Go and prove everyone that how good of a team we are. And let you know, let's have some fun along the way, not just like the business side of it. Or you know, we mm -hmm. got to win the game. Let's have fun. Let's you know, it felt like we had fun in the group, but we didn't have that much fun at the rink. Yes, you know, like we just gotta have fun at the rink. Have fun in practices. You know. When we practice, we practice, but have fun before and after. And um, I feel like that's going to be a really big change this year when 
you know, the guys are going to come in and have a chip on my shoulder. I'm going to have a chip on my shoulder. You know, I'm, I got to be better. Everyone's got to be better. And that's the way it is in the Canadian market. There's no, you, you can't hide anywhere. Everyone knows, you know, everyone knows in Calgary who you are and who you represent and who you're playing for. So it's like, let's embrace it. Let's play. Let's have fun. Let's win games. Let's not be scared of losing. And I feel like that's the mentality we got to have. You know, the thing I want to talk about with you is in the middle of all that chaos last year, you had a great year. Yeah. And I, okay, yeah. you, you played really well. Yeah. And it also came at a time where you suffered a pretty traumatic injury. And, you know, I saw you spoke to one of the Swedish newspapers about it. And, you know, just like, you know, and, and, this, and what someone said to me is that you played well, serious injury, very hard year. And the way you're talking right now about embracing the chaos, I said, you know, like you could be the captain of this team. Like, does that appeal to you? Uh, I mean, you know, with social media these days, you know, uh, there's been a lot of talk about it, but you know, it's, let's put it this way. It's, it's something you would never turn down. I think, and no player in the league would ever turn it down. And I would obviously love to be the captain of the Calgary flames, but I, I feel like we have a lot of good leaders on our team and, you know, whoever Connie and Husk, because they're such a smart persons, whoever they pick, it's going to be the right pick. And I would obviously, you know, embrace the challenge, as I just said, embrace the challenge and embrace the opportunity. But you know, if it's me, it's me. If it's not me, it's someone else. And whoever they pick, it's going to be the right call because I have so much trust in Husk and Connie and the owners in Calgary that they're going to make the right call. And I feel like that's something we've missed last few years that, you know, in Canadian market, you need someone to step up towards the media, towards the coaches, towards the owners, because there's so much pressure on the players that you know, when we had Gio, you know, he would he would embrace that and he would, you know, I'm the captain and I'll, I'll take this one. And, um, you know, Bax did it to a point last year, but even he, he said to me, he's like, I'm like, Bax, you are the captain. He's like, no, I, I know ish, but, you know, I don't have the C, so I can't do everything I want to. And it's such a fine line with that because in our room, we also, Bax is the captain, right? And... But for him, it's, you know, it's it's hard, right? When when we see him as the captain, but he's not the captain. And I feel like in a Canadian market, you really do need one. And, and you know, if it's me, if it's Weeks, if it's Bax, Johnny, whatever, whoever it is, it's, it's going to be the right call. And it's going to be the right step for our franchise to take the next step. Okay, last one for me. How are you doing? Like good. just physically after yeah. everything. I'm good. I took... Um, I took five weeks off after the season. Uh, I just honestly didn't really do anything. We, we me and the family went to uh, to Spain just to get away from everything, from all the chaos and stuff. And uh, and so I'm doing well now. It's just um, you know, it's kind of the talking point of the summer, right? When I see my friends and family, everyone always asks me how I'm doing, but I'm I'm doing okay and I'm fine now, and I'm. I'm ready to embrace the chaos. <laughs> <laughs> Never a dull moment no. at any Canadian hockey market. And exactly. listen, you're, uh, you, you wear it well and you're very well cut out for it. Um, best of luck with the Flames this year. I, I think it's going to be one of the more interesting teams to follow. Thanks so much. Me for too. This. Thank you. Thanks for having me.